everyone. My name is Nicole Renard. We are here right now at the Sony booth at the NAB show and I am sitting here with Andy Munitz. He is our audio guru and we are going to talk all things audio today. Andy, tell me a little bit about what you get to do here. Well, uh, Nicole, I'm the product manager for Sony's line of professional audio products and uh, that encompasses a wide range of products, as a matter of fact, which we can talk about a little bit. Okay, so can you give us a little bit about the history of Sony's audio? That is particularly fascinating, and this is something that most people don't really know. When people think about Sony, what do you think? You think this giant company, we make TVs, we have a film studio, we make all this incredible broadcast equipment. Right. But do you know what the name Sony comes from? The Latin word Sonus for sound. Oh. Sony's very first product back in the early 1950s was a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder and it was designed and built to sell to schools so that performers and musicians could record their performances and listen to them back. Interesting. And so Sony's very first deliverable product was a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder and of course when you have a tape recorder you need an input device so we had to supply a microphone with that tape recorder. Okay. Kind of interesting. Yeah. So. Why is audio important? To me, it's, it's an important question. Audio, you know, started out in the early days of film, certainly, you know, the jazz singer and all that stuff. Oh, you can do audio with video. Right. But unfortunately, audio sort of kept moving down the, the credits in the film. Audio is incredibly important. I think as humans, our attention is captured by visuals. You know, we are constantly monitoring but information is transferred between people with sound. Mm -hmm. it's, it's dialogue, it's talking. So it is really important. And this may sound a little bit weird, but if you think about it, before we're born, you know, as we're forming inside of our mothers, one of our earliest senses, we can hear, and we're starting to gather right. a sense of the outside world. You know, you're not gonna remember it, obviously, <laughs> but it's there. And furthermore, Audio has this incredible ability to enable emotion, to, you know, kind of tweak emotion. Mm -hmm. You're watching back, you know, some fam famous scene or uh, something in a movie and the music will swell and all of a sudden you get a rush of emotion. Yeah. It's not necessarily because, oh, you're looking at that actor or, oh, isn't that a nice, you know, tree in the background? It's the music. It brings it up. And so emotional response is is ve is very receptive to audio and and as a matter of fact as a corporate initiative for the last couple of years sony has been promoting the concept of high resolution or high res audio as it can help elicit emotion the world is you know kind of in love and 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 rightfully so with mp3s and putting thousands of songs in your pocket but they can't necessarily transmit as much of that feeling because the detail isn't there, the, the, what, what enables it to resonate with, our, uh, with, uh, with, with a human, but high resolution audio can. So audio is very important. I love how you said that because I know too when you watch a movie or a scene with the audio off, it's completely different. It makes such a difference. <laughs> there, absolutely, there you go. What I, what I like to say is um, uh, audio without video is radio. Yes. Video without audio is a security camera, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. There you go. It gets Absolutely. real boring real fast. Turn the sound down on your TV, <laughs> leave the room. Why even stand there? I agree. So Yesterday, I actually had a chance to go check out the audio part of the Sony booth, and it was pretty cool. I had a good time. Tell us a little bit about Sony's products in audio right now. Certainly. We've had, a, you know, historically a lot of, of, of product categories we've made from giant mixing consoles that you would find in a recording studio and 48 track multi-track tape recorders and just about everything that ever gets made. What we're focusing on now, since you know much of the audio production landscape has shrunken into a laptop or you know computer controlled whatever, we focus a lot on microphones now. And a lot of what we do is wireless microphones. Wireless microphones are a challenge for a lot of people because you really have to understand how they operate. Not only what a specific button may do on a wireless transmitter or a receiver, but it's really helpful to understand what frequencies am I using? Why would 
this frequency be compatible with another system on that frequency, that kind of thing. And, and because there are so many wireless pieces of technology in use at the same time, the spectrum landscape is ever more crowded. And we actually live in a time where um, we have just completed what's called an FCC auction, where a big chunk of the wireless spectrum that has, and is still actually currently still available, but will be going away soon, is used for wireless microphones and things like that, is getting sold off to cell phone companies because there's so many mm. cell phones these days. So the available spectrum for wireless usage of wireless microphones is even shrinking. So it, it, it's, it's, it's things that a lot of our customers are very um, concerned with, and, but have to know because right. it, keeps them, it keeps them going. Think about all the news crews that are out there on the streets and they've got wireless microphones or you do a long walk and talk or an interview with somebody, mm -hmm. you don't want to be dragging wires behind you. Right. So we also make at Sony portable audio recorders. These are capture tools and playback tools. A lot of times it's like having a, an entire recording studio in your pocket and you can get it up close to the sound, but with the quality of the tiny microphones these days and the high resolution audio formats that these little things can employ, and even now in one of our devices, Bluetooth remote control, so you can take the recorder, put it 50, 60 feet away, but you can control the entire thing from your cell phone. These are, these are great capabilities, so we do that. We make headphones, we make studio microphones, we make shotgun microphones, that kind of so stuff. So many you things. It. Lots great. of fun toys, a lot of little toys. I love it, awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Nicole, thank Andy you. Andy Munitz, everybody. Come check us out here at the Sony booth. We'll be here all day today and tomorrow. Come say hi. We'll see you here next time.